Shalom. Kohlaimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled Drunk Off the Wine of Babylon. So I did a lesson, and this was on my main channel, I'm a wine abroad 144. This individual, prophetic words says we're breaking his covenant by calling on gods that our forefathers never knew. So she heard me use the name, the son of the most high and our Lord and savior, Yahweh Shai. Our forefathers never knew a son. Most of us are still in idolatry, which breaks the covenant. Now, at first, I thought this was a man, but I went to their content page, and the most recent lesson is a year old. Let's check this out. I have another video for you today, and this topic of discussion is the new kingdom, paradise, on heaven or in heaven. I, who, you know, I don't know. I don't want to speak against it. If, you know, I know what it is. Basically. Let's see what the Bible says on this. Let's go to 1 Timothy 2. 1 Timothy 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Let's read it again. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first born, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. So this is coming out of the law. What a first Corinthians. Fourteen. <coughs> First Corinthians fourteen, verse thirty-two, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Men, all the prophets and the books of the Bible, it's about men that were chosen to be leaders of Israel. Verse 33, but the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if. <clears throat> wait a minute. What law? Let's go to verse 35. And if they will learn anything. Let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. And that church comes from ecclesiastes, which means called out. 
Let's go into the law. Let's go to Numbers 27, verse 16. Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation, which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out and which may bring them in that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. So the leaders are men. <clears throat> the Most High has commissioned men that are teaching daily and going out to the highways and byways, prophesying. Genesis 3 Verse 16, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So I don't know why people are ignoring the scriptures and doing their own thing. I'm confused. And what was it doing? Descending out of heaven from God. Unbelievable. Descend. Unbelievable. So she says we're worshiping an idol. The Most High does not have a son, or in her words, our forefathers never knew of a son. I'm not going to read all these, but this is when I thought I was dealing with a man at first. Well, I said, explain and interpret the following below scriptures. And I won't read all these. You see it. So I'm going slow. He's all throughout the scriptures. All throughout the scriptures. What Bible are you reading? So that's why Psalms 40 and 7 says, I come in the volume of the book, along with Hebrews 10 and 7. He's all throughout the Bible. Check this out. Let's read this. Zechariah 9 and 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a coat, the foal of an ass. Now it's in the New Testament. Matthew 21, verse 5. Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting upon an ass, a coat, the foal of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Yehoshai commanded them and brought the ass and the coat and put on them their clothes and they set him thereon. Look at 2 Samuel 7 and 13. He shall be my son. So people, just like in the old days, are ignoring the prophets that are teaching daily and making our lives a living sacrifice by risking our life, going out into the streets. And again, I thought this was a dude at first. These are the scriptures, as you can see, to learn in silence. Let's go more into the sun. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3. We'll go to 7 first. The book of Daniel chapter 7, 
verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. The Son of Man was brought to the most ancient of days, the Father, the Most High. What Bible are you reading? So he was brought on a chariot, and he's going to get everlasting kingdom of rulership. Verse 14. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and tongues should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Where else have we read that? Go to Luke 1 and 32. It's talking about Yahweh Shai the son of the most high. Luke 1, verse 31. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahawashai. That's the original in the Hebrew. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord power shall give him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there shall be no end. We just read that in Daniel 7 and 14. Let's go to Daniel 3, Daniel 3 and 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were cast into the fiery flame. Verse 25. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of the Most High. According to this woman that's out of order, she said, Our forefathers never knew a son. You can look at these scriptures again. Only the prophets should be speaking in these days. But the Bible says Israel is a rebellious house, a stiff-necked people. All throughout the Bible, it's right here. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's keep going. Go from there. Let's go to Numbers. No son of the Most High. Let's see. Numbers 23 and 19. A book of Numbers, chapter 23. Verse 19, the most high is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? Neither the son of man. So a lot of these people, they don't know the Bible but America builds up your pride and dumbs you down. That's what America does to you. Bugs you out, you become drunk off the wine of Babylon. 
Luke 1, verse 31. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Isaiah 7 and 14. Yahweh Shai means Savior, Deliverer, or He will deliver. Isaiah 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which is the Most High is with us. So a son, you folks are proud of feminism, white supremacy, democracy, which is a perverse spirit. Let's keep going. Let's close out here. A rebellious house. We certainly are the Israelites. Every spirit comes back in its same lot. If you were a rebellious spirit in the old days, you come back in that lot. Or the men or the two-third Israelites that have always rebelled against the Most High and his word and that slayed the prophets in the days of old. Look at this. How many times rebellious house comes up? Ezekiel 2 and 8. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. Or the true men of the Lord that are teaching daily and going out to the streets have digested this entire bread of life, the Bible. Ezekiel 3 and 9, as an adamant harder than first have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Go to Ezekiel 12 and 2. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. Look at all this, see? So they have spiritual darkness. They've been spiritually blinded. Let's close out here. Isaiah 29, verse 8. They have physical eyes, but spiritual veil of blindness. They have physical ears, but their ears are fat, which means dull of hearing, spiritually numb. Isaiah 29, verse 9. Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers. The seers have ye covered, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver one to that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. So only the hopeful elect, which is a remnant, have the spiritual eyes of discernment, the Holy Spirit, that can understand the interpretations of this Bible. That's it. So we're going to go ahead and close out there. But a lot of our men are out of order and our women are out of order. Both. 
Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, or Kakadash, Barakatam. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala, and abide, babao. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.